Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are at the Chicago Auto Show taking a look at the new Ford Explorer. This is the 2025 model. And as you can see here in front of us, we have the ST version. There are four trims available for the new Ford Explorer. Active, ST line, ST and the Platinum, which you see over there. So let's start with the exterior design. Now on the front, you can see the new grille and the grille is different depending on the trim that you get. So the ST version has got a very sporty trim. And then here on the Platinum, you can see uh, for me a bit more elegant. And then this is more sporty. I quite like the Explorer letter on the bonnet and I love those new LEDs and the car really looks amazing when you see it it looks very muscular and definitely stands out now if we move on to the side you can see that this particular model sits on the beautiful five spoke wheels these are the 21 inch ones so the wheels go from 18 inch up to 21 inch and seven designs are available I love the Explorer lettering on the side skirt and also the gloss black detail and now we move on to the rear of the car where you can see the new LED taillights with the beautiful design. The outer section goes into this middle and uh, here they are connected with this part that has the beautiful Explorer lettering and uh, further emphasizes the width of the car and the strong appearance on the road in my opinion. Tell me in your comments, do you agree? And how do you like this ST version? It does have the beautiful four real exhaust pipes which is always nice to see and uh, we are now ready to explore the trunk space and here is where you push the button electric tailgate and uh, there we go so here is where we have the third row of the seats and you can uh, lift them or put them down uh, by the touch of a button which is always nice here you have the additional storage room on both sides so there we go and here on the right as well and uh, yeah well here you see the cup holders and uh, if we press this uh, it lifts as well and then all you need to do is just do this and you are all set let's press this to close the tailgate and we are now ready to explore the interior of the car which has been completely redesigned beautiful beautiful layout in front of the driver completely new dashboard uh, the new touchscreen and here let me show you the beautiful materials with the red stitching standard buttons for the windows and the mirrors and a decent amount of room here actually and uh, these are divided into two sections upon entering the car we are greeted with the ford performance lettering and before we enter and see it from driver's perspective let me just show you those beautiful seats and they are also very comfortable i've been sitting in the car and i can tell you that they really are so comfortable and also they look great which is always nice uh, you know detail as well now let's see it from driver's perspective more open and spacious cabin here for the occupants in the first row thanks to the new design of the dashboard itself it has been pushed forward and uh, it also has beautiful design and details such as the 12.3 inch digital cockpit and the main touchscreen with the new infotainment system the 13.2 inch touchscreen now here you have the tray that has the wireless charging pad and also there are some physical buttons for example the uh, camera view surround view and start stop off uh, hazard lights as well volume knob is here and uh, I love the stitching here look at the red stitching really giving it nice sporty touch and uh, this is the hidden storage compartment as you can see USB-C USB port and the 12 volt power supply and here is the gear selector and the cup holders that are adjustable drive mode selector and in the middle the armrest and of course uh, the storage area USB-C ports are here and uh, also the glove compartment is huge as expected you can also see the ambient lighting and uh, yeah well let me show you the infotainment system so here is where you have the car settings so the ambient lighting you can change different colors of course during the night you will be able to see it better but yeah you can see it I think it looks very nice indeed and uh, emphasizes this new dashboard actually and here is where you can also see the car here is the navigation view very responsive as you can see we have the google maps 
and uh, yeah big thumb up from me and here it reacts all of the settings of the car uh, so Apple CarPlay, Bluetooth, Audio, Android Auto, Settings, Games, YouTube you have everything in here so the new infotainment system is so good and then here is where you can adjust the air blower and the temperature this car also has the cooled and heated seats as well as the steering wheel that is heated so yeah I think that's pretty much it let me also show you this the storage area in here and uh, the sun visor hello there panoramic sunroof on this one and now let's see it from the back let's see the situation at the rear bench but actually let me just show you the cool uh, animations here for the drive modes so off-road for example and this is flickering just on camera of course slippery then normal eco sport and the tow hole and uh, yeah now it's time to check out the rear bench all right so let's jump on board and as you can see great angle of opening and we are ready to step inside there we go uh, you have the handle here storage area the ac controls and usb c ports as well as the uh, ac port and then here we have the cup holders that is quite cool and it's so comfortable to sit here and huge amount of room now you can see the ambient lights and the view on the front time to talk about the powertrain so the st version has got the 3 liter ecoboost engine with 400 horsepower other option for the new explorer is the 2.3 liter ecoboost now the st comes exclusively with the 3 liter ecoboost that is producing 400 horsepower and then on the other trims you have the 2.3 liter ecoboost and on the platinum you can upgrade and you can get the uh, 3 liter ecoboost as well rear wheel drive is standard and the all wheel drive is optional all right guys that's it thank you very much for watching this video do subscribe and see you on the next one bye bye